Hey, Gary. So uh, we took a look at the uh, pictures from the other chimney company, obviously. And um, now this we knew, right? This has been like this, I think, since, two, since 2012, which was the first time I visited you folks. So uh, that part we know. Um, and these are some of the other chimney company's pictures. Now, uh, they show this as a problem here, but it appears like there is plenty of cement behind that. That's actually a pretty darn good picture that they're getting from a chim scan uh, uh, scanning device, which is what all chimney sweeps use. Uh, this one's dark. I don't know uh, if they were at a bad angle or or what was going on with this, but it's hard to see what is behind here. There there could be also cement behind here, just like the uh, the other one. These are some stock uh, photos of uh, you know some stuff that uh, that's been done in the past. This one right here is uh, clearly an open joint and is repaired with uh, heat shield. Uh, sometimes I use Heat Shield, which is a, a, a name brand product, and sometimes just use refractory cement, which is like the generic, uh, to fix those things. So it can be fixed if, if there is a problem. It can be identified if it's a problem simply by sending uh, uh, another, you know, taking another scan of the chimney and actually photographing and getting some light in there and seeing what's going on. So that's something I can do for you if you're interested or worried about your chimney. Just give me a call. We'll get you on the calendar for doing that. If there is a legitimate problem, just wanted to let you know there is a legitimate way of fixing that without gutting out the chimney and putting a whole new liner system in it, which uh, most of the companies in Charlotte, there's only three companies that will actually repair a flu. Everybody else likes to reline. So hope that's been helpful for you folks. Uh, call me if I can help you in any way. 303-566-1000.